Hello, I'm Sergio Troncoso, and my book is A Peculiar Kind of Immigrant Son by El Paso Cinco Puntos Press. And you spell my last name Troncoso, T is in Tom, R O N C O S O. So, felicidades to all the graduates from, from El Paso. Um, I am also from El Paso and always been proud to be from El Paso, from Isleta, Isleta High School, by the way. So any of you who are graduating from Isleta, once an Indian, always an Indian. Um, I guess my three pieces of advice I would give to graduates are these. First thing is be proud of who you are. Be proud of your barrio, your part of town, your high school, your familia, and never forget where you're from, because that's really, in many ways, what has made you the, the soul of who you are. And also on the other hand, as you go through life, as you go through your next job or you go through education, college and other steps along the way, don't forget to challenge who you are and to challenge your community to be better, to improve itself, to take the best pieces of who you are and keep those. And then the other things you don't like create something new. So it's this combination of, of being proud of who you are and where you're from, but also to challenge and question uh, the people around you, to question yourself, to push yourself and ask yourself, are you doing things the right way? Is there some way you could improve? And the last piece of advice I would give to all graduates, it's to learn from your mistakes. You know, I, when I left Isleta and left El Paso, and went to, to college I, and a career as a writer, I certainly made a lot of mistakes and I still make a lot of mistakes. But one of the things that helped me was every disaster I had or mistake I had, I learned what I did wrong. I learned uh, to take it apart and see um, what went wrong so that I wouldn't do it again. And so it became a learning experience. So all of us will have mistakes, all of us will have failures. The question is, what do you do after the failure? Do you learn from it or, or do you just sort of crumple? And so for me, it, it, almost every time I tried something new and I challenged myself and tried to do something somebody uh, in my family had never done uh, and I failed, I would learn how, what happened and take it apart and then also improve so that the next time I tried to do something, it would succeed. Um, so we're all very proud of you, all of you who have graduated. Um, your community's proud of you, your parents are proud of you. Um, and I wish you the best in, in the future. And also remember, keep reading. That's the single best way to improve yourself and that's uh, something that has never left me and is forever uh, close to my heart. Happy graduation.